Everybody say the word. word. I'll break it down for you, don't worry. Say the word. word. Say, sanctify them through thy truth, everybody. Thy word is truth. You guys, listen, you don't need to copy my accent. My accent is from Africa. You are from America. This is how I talk. I used to talk like you, but no more. Many, many years ago. Now I talk like a, a bushman from Africa. So don't worry. When I say read, don't try and read like I read, please. <laughs> John 17, 17. You can remember. Everybody ready to go? It says what? Uh-huh. Again. Yes. Sit down. I can say what I'm saying a thousand times. I don't mind. Anybody who is into number one, because I'm going to show you four ways in which the, the word of God comes to us. Number one, anyone who is into the Bible, that's the first one. Anyone who is into the Bible is special and separated. Amen. Amen. Anyone who is into the Bible is special and separated. Anyone who knows the Bible, this special book. Now we don't have Bibles and we have tablets. We're not too sure whether there we have a Bible. This is a real Christian. This is a real Christian. Yeah, this, anybody who's into this book is special and separated. Okay, some of you also have your Bibles. Most people have tablets now and phones. Sometimes we're not sure whether you're using a phone to read the word of God or to Snapchat. That's why sometimes I get scared, but it's a tool. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Number two, anyone that is into your pastor's voice. <laughs> I'll show you four ways, four ways through which the word of God comes to us. Number one, the Bible. Anyone, you don't have notes, you're supposed to be writing. No, so get, get paper. Do you understand? Anybody sitting by, you see, like this boy. Sorry, but listen, I don't know how holy he is. He doesn't care. Listen, it's not magic. Take a picture of the church and look at those who care and look at those who don't care and give yourself 10 years. It's even too much. Give yourself four years and you will see it's not magic. It's, it's as scientific as any other experiment you can do. And look at those who care, who write notes, who buy Bibles, who know. Let's sit down. Do you know the books of the Bible? No, he, from Genesis to um, Revelation. I didn't think he would know. I didn't think he would know. Stand up. Do you know at least from Matthew to Revelation? I didn't think so. Do you know who wrote uh, the book of 1 Timothy? Oh, did I, oh, okay, sorry, did you know 1 Timothy was a book in the Bible? That one you know. Who wrote it? Look around. Those who care are special and separated. And those who don't, you will see. But you, are the next holy brother. Yeah. I said, by the time this camp ends, you are the next holy brother. Yeah. I said, you are the next holy brother. Yeah. Listen, I didn't come into America because I like the sound of my voice. If, any, if for anything, my voice is almost finished, as you can see. This is my fifth camp in three weeks. Wow. So don't clap for me. I beg you, if you do that, I'll lose my reward. <laughs> I came here because I came to help. I came to see if I could, I could change one heart. I could change one heart. I came to see whether if maybe I could preach for, for somebody's mind to change about God. That's why I'm here. Only two people are excited about my mission. <laughs> yeah. 
Sit down. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Your word is truth. Your word will make me unique. Your word will make me separated. Yeah. In a class of 14 people, the word of God will set one apart. Today, when Bishop goes to almost any country in the world, when he gets down from the aeroplane, there's somebody there to salute him. You think it's because of his medical practice? You think it's because of a medical doctor? You think it's because of a medical doctor? No. It is because sanctify them through thy truth. Amen. Oh my Lord. What I'm preaching is so powerful. What I'm preaching is so powerful. What I'm preaching is so powerful. Look at this, sit down. Look at a silly, silly, stupid, nothing man like me. People pay thousands of dollars to fly me from one place to another to hear me speak. Why? Because I'm tall. I'm not even tall in America, I'm a shorty. Look, I could pass any day and you wouldn't notice me. Any day and you wouldn't notice me. Is it because of the country I come from? Definitely not. Is it because of the family I come from? Definitely not. Is it because I did chemical engineering in school? Definitely not. Sanctify them through thy truth, thy word. Oh no, I'm preaching to myself. <laughs> I'm preaching to myself. But I like what I'm preaching. Sit down. Make us special through your word. I laugh. I laugh. They said they're going to do beauty contest. You're a joke. That's the paparazzi. Yeah. <laughs> you are Do you know why they make so much noise when they release one single and they become famous? Because they know it's not going to last. They know. How can I be jealous? How can I be jealous of Jay-Z? Not even for one second. You won't believe me. He, he will fade. I hate him. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I'm just showing you the way that they all went. Is he the first? No. Oh, no. Michael Jackson? You guys don't know. Man. Look, do you know the favors I got because I told people Michael Jackson was my cousin? Do you know the favors I got? Do you know the, the autographs I signed? Do you know? So in those days, I mean, the worst thing that could happen to me was for my father to cut my hair. Because I needed my afro. I needed my afro to look like Michael. I needed my afro to look like Cousin Michael. Yeah, the cousin Michael. Cousin Michael came over today. And got, I mean, of course, I was like, I told you, I'm not holy. I told you. <laughs> hey! It will fade. It's vanishing. Look, I remember the time. I remember one time the, the person I was contending with in my church was Hannah Montana. Hey. hey! Look! I mean, it was a battle. I mean, they were trying to exalt Hannah Montana higher than my Jesus. They used to bring her bags, her, her T-shirts. I banned her face from my church. No. Not the clothes. Come on, please. I hated her. No. I tried to explain to them that, listen, in the next five years, nobody's going to watch this girl anymore. Oh, but is it true? No, maybe you guys know. Look, I... 
Do you see how desperately she's trying to get attention? She's doing almost anything, everything, saying whatever she can say so that people will keep their eyes on her. I don't need to beg anybody to keep his eyes on me. <laughs> no. If what I'm saying, if what I'm saying you don't like it, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't beg anybody. I don't need to beg anybody. Sanctify us through thy truth. Make us special. Oh, I don't know why. How God's word will make you special. How God's word will make you special. How, how the fact that you know, you know that there is an Old Testament and a New Testament, it will immediately make you different from the rest. Immediately. Different. To sanctify you. To make you a special being. <laughs> what I'm saying is so simple. I don't know why you are clapping. Sit down. The word in the form of the Bible. Number two. The word in the form of your pastor's voice. Sanctify us through thy truth. Your word is truth. Number three, the word of God in the form of Christian books, specifically books written by Bishop Doug Heward Mills. Amen. The word, the word, any child that is into the word is a holy child. Today for my quiet time, I, I saw Jesus being referred to as the holy child Jesus. Yeah. My quiet time today. Holy child Jesus. That miracles are wrought through the name of the holy child. In other words, miracles are wrought through the name of that young boy who used to spend all his time reading the word Jesus. Yeah. Pastor Daniel, am I making sense? The whole place is quiet. I don't know what's going on. No, not that I want you to shout, but listen. And, and number four, the word of God, the word of God in the form of spiritual Christian music. You know medicine? How many have you taken medicine before? Which one do you prefer? What do you call it? Needles when they prick you? You call them on injections? Shots. You call them shots. In Canada, I think they call them needles. They call them shots. In Ghana, we call it injection. So you know that something serious is happening to you. You know, they shot. This is not nothing. Inject. We are injecting shin. Hey. When I was growing up, I hated shots. I I couldn't take a shot without holding on to somebody. Yeah. So I just go with my dad and, and then I'll hold him, I'll hold him like this. <laughs> and one day I went to the hospital and it was it was my big brother. And when they called me for the shot, I said, It's time. And he said, Time for what? I said, It's time to go. He said, go away. I said, it's time to go. <laughs> go. I need somebody to hold. He said, never. He said, you know what he said? He said, the needle will go through me, come out, and then enter him. I said, please, I beg you. And the nurse was getting irritated. She was getting irritated. So, uh, you're writing my story. She's writing my story. The lady on the phone. She doesn't even know that I'm talking to her. Are you, are you writing my story? Huh? I said, are you writing my story? Because you seem to be very engrossed in your phone. I thought there were no phones coming here. Charles, your rules are not being, your rules are not being enforced. All your rules you said were... Look, is everybody here? Check your neighbor. 
if, if, check and see whether everyone you came to the camp with is here. Because yesterday at a point, there were people in the rooms. This is true. Is there anybody here, you know somebody who's not here? Yeah, no, it's not a problem. We can fetch them. Don't worry. I beg you, especially the chaperones, because that is what I mean. It, I mean, I've not heard that word chaperone as many times as I, I've heard it since I came to this country. Oh, and the chaperones, and the chaperones, and the chaperones, and the chaperones. I mean, I heard the chaperones all the time, all the chaperones. So the chaperones, chaperones, please chaperones. <laughs> chaperones, please are your chaperones here? Is everyone here? And I was told also that phones will not enter into this hall. That is what I was told. But it's not working. Because the chaperones are supposed to take the phones from you. Charles, can you sort that out and then call me? All phones. No, don't clap. Just if you have a phone, could you just lift it up? Please. Even if you are using it to write notes, you just lift it up, please. You will get it after, please. I will beg you, please. Pastor Danny, 